Now for our story. Bill Mead had returned to the Discary farm today, hoping to find Mario at home. He wanted to have a serious talk with the quaint-tempered young man, wanted to convince him that his jealousy of his wife had no justification. But when Bill arrived, there was no answer to his knock at the door, and there was a silence about the rambling old farmhouse which made him uneasy. Finding the door unlocked, Bill had gone inside. Then he'd made a shocking discovery, one which sent him immediately to the telephone. He'd called Aunt Mary Lane, asked her to come over at once. Now, some 20 minutes later, Bill is standing outside when the Lane's little pickup truck pulls up with Randy at the wheel. Aunt Mary and her son get out and hurry toward Bill. We came just as soon as we could, Bill. What is it? It's Carla. She's... Oh, dear. Where is she? What's happened here, Bill? Come inside, both of them. Good heavens. Carla. Bill, did you fall? I... I don't know, Aunt Mary. I found her lying there on the floor when I got here. Well, we should get her onto the car. No, Aunt Mary. Dr. Lewis said we'd better leave her there until he comes. I called him just before I called you. Well, then I wish she'd get here. She may be hurt. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. The way she looks, so white. I hate to just leave her there, but the doctor said to cover her up and not to move her. The poor child. She must have slipped and fell. I don't think so, Mom. That bruise on her forehead doesn't look as if a fall caused it. Oh? I mean, if the bruise came from the fall, it wouldn't be where it is. She wouldn't have turned over on her back after falling forward. That's right. I thought of that, too. Bill. Huh? Where is Mario? I don't know. He wasn't here when I came. Uh, that's too bad. You don't know where he is? Well, we should try and locate him right away. Aunt Mary, does she... I mean, does Carla just seem to be unconscious? Can you tell? I, I tried her pulse, but... Anyway, I wish you'd feel it. Yes. Yes, her heart's beating, Bill, but it's not very strong. Bill, are you sure Mario isn't around somewhere? I don't think he is. Have you looked for him? Well, you see, Aunt Mary, when I first got here, I knocked and no one answered. But somehow or other, I had a feeling that something was wrong. So after knocking, I tried the door. It wasn't locked, so I came in. When I saw there'd been an accident or something, I phoned the doctor right away. And then I called your place. Afterwards, I went outside and yelled for Mario in case he might be nearby. No sign of him anywhere, huh? No. Huh. Funny. Funny? Yeah. Hardly seems possible this could have happened to Carla if she were here alone. But, Randy, surely you don't think Mario had anything to do with Carla being hurt? With the accident? As a matter of fact, Mom, I don't think it was an accident. Then... In fact, I'm sure it wasn't. I'd say there was a quarrel. Mario lost his temper. Cut into one of those rages of his, and this is what happened. Oh, no, Randy. Even if Mario was beside himself with anger. Well, I just can't believe he'd harm Carla and then go away and leave her like this. No. No, I just can't believe it. Yeah, I know. Of course, he may have gone for help. Yeah. Still, you've got to admit it looks pretty queer. Now, wait just a minute, Randy. It isn't fair to jump at conclusions just because Mario isn't here. Well, maybe not, Mom. But, Aunt Mary, the trouble is, I know Mario's been here since I left the first time. Hey. You're sure of that, Bill? Yeah. You see, on my way over to your place, I saw him coming from town. He was going awful fast, but I'm pretty sure he saw me. But he didn't stop. I honked, but he... Hmm. What, Bill? Remember something? Yeah, but... But I kind of hate to mention it. Well, maybe it's just my imagination. What is it, Bill? If it's something to do with this, you better tell us. It might help clear this up. Well, the fact is, when I saw Mario, he was looking like thunder. Madder than all get out. Oh? Yeah, he... Well, you know how a guy drives when he's mad. Kind of hunched over the wheel, tense. That does it. He came now, here... Now, wait a minute, Randy. That still doesn't prove that Mario's responsible for this. Besides, maybe he hasn't been here at all. Maybe he went somewhere else. No. No, Aunt Mary, I'm afraid that won't work. You see, his car is here. Oh. And there's no doubt he came back. I'm afraid not. But even so, he... Mario might have come here and then left before whatever happened took place. Yeah, he might have, Mom, but that, that doesn't seem reasonable. If he came and then left, why didn't he take the car? Bill, what about the truck? Did you notice whether it was gone or not? Yeah, I thought of the truck, but it's in the barn, too. In other words, wherever he's gone, he's on foot. I don't suppose he could be around here somewhere, hiding or... Randy, 
I know it looks very odd, but there must be some very simple explanation. I feel sure Carla will be able to explain the whole thing in just a few words. Yeah, maybe. If only Dr. Lewis would come. And Mary, if she just fainted, she'd have come too by now, wouldn't she? Well, I, I don't know, Bill. Of course, she might have just fainted. And when she fell, she might have struck her head and... And if Mario wasn't here when it happened, hey, why... Mom, it's just possible your theory's right. I only hope it is. And maybe Mario might be visiting somewhere nearby or over at his grandfather's. I'd better get hold of him, tell him what happened. All right, son, but don't be gone too long. And I do hope you find him. So do I. Because if he isn't anywhere around, it might... Well, I'll try to locate him. I'll be right back. Oh, gosh, Aunt Mary, this... This is awful. I feel as if I'm responsible for it. But why, Bill? How can you be? You weren't even here. Yeah, I know, but that's just the trouble. I'd only had the sense to turn back. When I saw Mario burning up the road a while ago, that angry look on his face should have told me something was wrong. But, Bill, that's still just an assumption. I mean, you're assuming that Mario's to blame for this. Well, maybe. But just the same, I wish to heaven I turned around and come straight back here when I saw him. Well, we can't always foresee things, Bill. Besides, although you and Randy seem determined to connect this with Mario, you may be wrong. You hate to admit he'd do such a thing, don't you, Aunt Mary? Well, so do I. But we both know what a temper the guy has. You've mentioned it yourself. Yes, Bill, but a temper is one thing. And this... Well, it's far more serious. That poor child lying there. Just think if you hadn't come over and found her. Yeah, I know. That's why I can't believe Mario would do such a thing. He loves Carla, Bill. In spite of all his twisted thinking, he loves her. He loves her very deeply. Yeah, sure he does. But, Aunt Mary, you know how he's been acting ever since those rumors about Carla and me got started. He believes those lies, even though everybody's tried to show him that they were just silly, malicious gossip. Well, Bill, Mario doesn't reason things out. He's not that sort of person. And he sure isn't. It looks to me as if he's been getting madder and madder underneath all the time until... Well, until it just got too much for him. He must have blown his top, and this is the result. Mm-hmm. Well, I admit it looks pretty bad. But it's just circumstantial evidence. It isn't fair for us to assume Mario is responsible until we have definite proof. And I think it's up to us to withhold judgment for the time being. Well, sure, Aunt Mary. I don't want to be unfair. But I keep remembering the way Carla looked today. Sort of frightened and uneasy. And when I asked her about Mario, she... She seemed to have given up hope that he'd ever come to his senses. Did you find him, Randy? No. I looked all over the place. There's not a sign of him. But Randy, maybe Mario just walked over to see his family. No, he didn't, Mom. I saw Angelina and Tony out in the road just now. Oh? You did? Yeah. They told me they hadn't seen Mario since yesterday. They just left their place so they couldn't have missed him. I see. Well, what do you think, Bill? Doesn't look to you as if the guy beat it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm afraid it does. Oh, Mom, now, please don't look so distressed, honey. There's no use hiding our heads in the sand. If Mario lost his temper and struck Carla, we may as well face it. Oh, Randy, I admit I don't want to. That poor child, so devoted to him. And then this, for no reason. That's what makes me so sore. That the guy could be so crazy. To think Carla would ever do anything that wasn't right. Look at that bruise on her head. He's got a nasty blow, all right. But if Mario caused it... Well, no use talking about it until we know for sure. Maybe it looks worse than it is, Randy. Dr. Lewis may tell us it's not serious at all. You want to think that, don't you, Mom? So do I. But it looks to me as if Carla's in a pretty bad way. They all looked instinctively toward the young girl's unconscious body as she lay white and still where she had fallen when Mario threw her roughly away from him. In their minds was the same question, a question they hardly dared face. Would Carla Descari recover? <laughs> 